the simple Keynesian model. The simple Keynesian model is called the Keynesian model because it's based on the notion that spending or demand is the driving force that determines the level of economic activity. So, Keynes believed that spending is the driving force. But first, let's recap. The three major flows in the economy, production, income and spending. As we know by now, production will create income and income in turn spending. These three flows are very important for you to understand. So, we can state that production will equal income will equal spending. Keeping this in mind, the model states A equals Y, where A donates our spending or our aggregate demand. And Y donates our income. As we know by now, production will generate income. This Y donates both income and production, which will be equal to one another. The equilibrium condition is this, where A equals Y, meaning spending equals income. If A equals Y, we can also say that Y equals A, meaning income is a function of our spenders. So our spenders are C plus I plus, but wait. It's important to note that we are talking about the introductionary model, a model with only two spenders. This means that we are going to ignore the foreign sector and the rest of the world. We are not going to look at the entire African content. Our focus will be on South Africa. So today we are going to look at the simple Keynesian model for a closed economy and no government. This we can say A is equal to Y and Y is equal to A. Y is equal to C plus I. These are our spenders in the economy. For a closed economy with no government, C is our consumption spending. Consumption spending is spending that takes place by our households and consumers. Secondly, our investment spending. This is spending taking place by firms. The simple Keynesian model for an economy with no government or foreign sector has the following formula. A is equal to Y and Y is equal to C plus I. We know by now that our income is equal to our spending, so our spenders in the economy is C plus I. For C, we are going to use the consumption function. The consumption function explains the relationship between consumption expenditure and income. Our consumption function are as follows. C equals to C plus CY. C is this equal to autonomous consumption plus the marginal propensity to consume and Y. Secondly, we are going to look at investment spending. For investment spending, we are going to have the following. I equals to I accent. This meaning that investment is a function of only autonomous investment. The consumption function. The formula is C equals to C cap plus C Y. This is our autonomous consumption. Plus small C Y. C is our marginal propensity to consume. The marginal propensity to consume is the change in consumption spending if income changes by one unit. In order to explain this, let's use a simple example. Suppose that you have 100 Rand. From this 100 Rand, you can only do two things, either save or spend. So, let's assume that we are going to save 10 Rand. And we are going to spend 90 Rand. So from this 100 Rand, we are going to save 0 0.1. This will be our marginal propensity to save. And 0 0.9 will be our marginal propensity to consume. So in other words, your marginal propensity to consume is the amount of money that you are going to spend given your income. Calculations will be done in the next video.